Hello everyone, welcome to Gilgigify channel, I hope you have a wonderful day, my name is Said Gonzal and in this video I will show you how to create back to top button in three styles, rocket emoji, text button and arrow top icon using vanilla javascript. I also created some CSS animations for these buttons. I will add a source code link inside the description so you can download and use it. If you enjoy my content, please like this video, click the subscribe button and turn on notification for future videos. Thank you. It's my dummy website and I want to create back to top button right here. Okay, first I'm gonna create a back to top button using racket emoji. I'm using scroll behavior property, so my document has a smooth scrolling effect when I clicked on my back to top button. And I have some CSS animations right here. I will call them in the JavaScript section. Now let's make a good position for this back to top button. With the visibility property, I will show and hide my button element. Let's check that button. Ok, now I am changing font size and adding a transform rotate to make this rocket emoji vertical. Well, now I change my button visibility to hidden. And in the JavaScript, I make it visible and hidden at the right time. Starting the JavaScript with getting my back to top button element. Unscroll event executes a JavaScript when the element is being scrolled. And in this case, I use the window as an element. So that means when the page is being scrolled. When scrolling down 700 pixels from the top of the page, Display the button. Now I'm adding my uh, button show animation. And adding CSS visibility visible. Here I'm adding my back to top button hiding animation. And now adding CSS visibility hidden. Adding an unclick event on my back to top button. And here I am adding scroll top 0 for the document. So when the button is clicked, the page is going to top smoothly. Ok, let's check this rocket. Well, it's working fine. Now I am going to create back to top button with the text. Let's check it. Ok, now changing this text style to a button look. Let's check it. Now I am adding a hover effect for the button and the filter drop shadow property. I think it's ok now. I have CSS animations for the text and icon button, so I change racket animation to that to showing and hiding. Ok, now let's check scale animation. Nice. 
Ok, now I'm gonna create back to top button using an SVG icon. Adding some styles to my arrow icon. A background color and a border radius. Let's check this now. And it's working fine. Now we have back to top buttons in three styles. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, please like this video, click the subscribe button and turn on notification for future videos. Thank you.